Mr. Donald, this is Mrs. Okafor, Don Okafor's wife. Please, my husband called you a few minutes ago to make a transaction. I want you to terminate it immediately. My husband has been murdered. He made that call on that jurors. Please. What would you? Please. Why did you have to do that? Please just. Ah! Why did you have to do that? Come on. Ah! Okay, this is really important, okay? Listen! I'm at your house right now. Okay, I'm with Zimuzo. I think your dad's life is in danger. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, calm down. What did you say? You have to get help now. Come now! Where will you come? You know what? Um, just listen, calm down, alright? Just calm down. Um, I'm going to get the police in Alright, I need you to stay calm. Stay calm. Get yourself together, alright? And remain where you are. I'm going to call you back. Okay? Okay, okay, I'll try. Please let them hurry. Tell them to hurry. No respect. Hmm. We cannot call her our wife. And nobody will acknowledge her as your own wife. Simple. If Danny, your son, is here, all those things will not be happening. And the worst aspect of it is that I don't know what is keeping him so long now. Eh? Without being here, nothing will will happen like this. The devil is here. Wala, why did you stop talking? I don't hear anyone speaking anymore. What's going on? You can't talk? No, go ahead, continue. Keep talking. Uh, baby, baby, please, 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 don't, don't say anything. Please, you can go back. Let me take care of this. I'll get shot. I wasn't even talking to you. No, you too. You can't say a word anymore. I thought I heard you guys saying something. Go ahead. I'm waiting. Cowards. 
You can't talk? You're quite excused, Mr. Man. And you, the hungry one, the little one. I thought I told you some days ago never to come back to this house again. What are you doing here? I am talking to you. What the hell are you doing in my husband's house? You can't speak. What are you doing here? Daniel, so this is true. You are sitting there and watch this little monkey embarrass us, your brothers. This is an abomination. Oh, you shut up. What the hell do you know about abomination? Excuse me? You're quite excused I say that to you again. Did I hear you say abomination? How dare you talk about abomination? You two are the true definition of the word abomination. You leave your house, come to the comfort of my home to spit rubbish about me. I've been up there listening to all the nonsense you have been spitting. You have no respect or regard whatsoever for me. Now listen to me. I'm going to go upstairs. If I come back here and find you two seated, <laughs> you won't like me. It is going to be bloody. You will take your cheap self, your cheap shoes, cheap trousers, and your cheap shirt and this expired caps you have on your head as cheese and get out of my husband's house. Leave my husband's cushion. Go back to the village. Tell them that we are not interested in that royalty bullshit. That chair, the local and the dirty chair you call a throne, <laughs> my husband and I are not interested. I don't want to see you two when I come back here. No, no. I have had an encounter with this witch. And I will not allow it happen again. I'm going. I will just go. Let us leave this place, Nana. Anna Pam. Daniel. So this is true. This is happening. And you are seated there, say nothing and do nothing, as if you have been hypnotized. Nana. I'm very, very sorry. sorry Please, but you have to leave now. You have to be sorry for yourself. You have to leave. I'm serious. I shall leave. I will come to your house. We will see when I come there. Please leave. Please don't bother to come to my house because I'll break your head. Please leave. I'm now. going in. Let's see, see. I will come to your house. We will see in your house. Please. I don't need it. Please leave. Can you imagine? Chia wale ye chia. Nana, let's leave the place. Don't worry. Danny, his son will not let things get out of hands. I know him. He will come back. Huh. He will let's come go. back. Let's, let us go. Let us go. Ah. What's wrong with that man? Imagine that. Imagine. Because of that little brat. Come, 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 feed me, feed me, feed me now. Why are you not at the shop? Why are you not at the shop today? Huh. Please, I don't want to talk about that. Please. What kind of rubbish? What kind of rubbish is that? What do you mean? What do you mean? Please, I don't want to. Oh God, we must talk about it. Ah. Uh. Uh. Why not at the shop? I said, please, I don't know. But what kind of problem? No, I don't understand. You don't understand what? And besides, you just say rubbish. Please change the topic. Change the topic. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. See, 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 see. No, don't provoke me, oh. See, I'm already angry. Don't just uh, uh, add it. Listen, I'm very depressed here. Don't provoke. No, 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 no. Why would you change the topic? Why would you tell me? Why would you tell me to change the topic? What, 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 what kind of nonsense is that? Yeah? You know that? That shop, you, you, you don't need to stay here with me when you have a shop to run. Huh? Yes, now, you know that is where we are managing from. See, it is better I, 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 I go there and stay with you than you come here to stay with me. Wait, did you just say shop? There is nothing in that shop. Can't you again? How much did you give me to open that shop? What kind of rubbish is that? What kind of nonsense question is that? What, 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 answer, answer me first! Okay, I shall answer you. I'm fine, I'll answer you. You think I don't know? 
You think I don't know what I gave you? What, 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 what nonsense is that? You think I don't know? See, let me tell you with my calculation. What I gave you in opening that shop was a uh, 50, what? 50, 60,000 naira. You think I don't know? Okay. All the money I contributed, where I was giving you the money, all of them amounted to 60,000 naira. So, how much have you collected from that same shop? Oh, you don't know again? Uh, 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 you see where you're going? Answer me now. Uh, I'll answer you. I'll answer you. Uh, for fact, uh, I, I, well, I, can, I, can't really, uh, I can't really know the amount figure, but I think I've collected one or something. Thousand. <laughs> yes, hey. one or ten thousand. You are very stupid. Be very stupid. Yes. The total amount you've collected from me so far is 125,000 Naira. Oh, have you forgotten I gave you 15,000 Naira last week? So 110,000 plus 15,000. Is it not 125,000 Naira? Uh, go, 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 go. Uh, yeah, fine. Uh, uh, you gave me 15,000. Uh, uh, Hello? Yes? Please, I have warned you countless times. Stay away from me. I'm not going to tell you this again. Stay away from me. Ah! Who was that? Nobody. How can you tell me nobody? You tell somebody to stay away from me and then tell me nobody. How? I don't understand. What do you mean nobody? Nobody. How can you tell me nobody? What? Yes, I'm talking. Nobody. And you answer the call and call the call. You are not interested. Come, Ify. So, oh, somebody has been sleeping with you. Ify. Ify. Brother, you are eating. Go polish you. You see, go 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 polish you for me, idiot. No 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 no. I I I I I I I am I am I am I am making love. What? Idiot. Why would God polish me now? Go polish go polish you again for me for asking to me. Stupid me question. You. How is it a stupid question? When I left this house, I'm fully aware that there is no food. Now I came back, I saw you eating. You see it? You see why God has to punish you? Eh? Because he knew that there was nothing in this house when you left. Okay, you, okay, you, uh, to you I will die. You knew that there was nothing in this house and you left without dropping anything for me. I mean, I can't say, what did I do? I thought you, you would go out to look for a job. That's why... Oh, God will punish you again for, for saying that nonsense. You thought I, 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 I would go and look for a job. So you want me to be walking around in the neighborhood without, without food? Eh? No, no, tell me, what if I faint and fall on the road? How can I be shit? Respect yourself, oh. I'm sorry, now. I never knew you wanted to eat before look, going out for a job. You never knew you wanted to eat before going out for a job. God punish you again. Sorry, now. What was that? What was that? What no. Sorry. Wife, ah. uh, if you had something for me. <clears throat> Our wife. She gave us something. Oh, oh, oh. Are you mad? What, what did you just say? Say if our wife, you said our wife dropped. Uh, 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 say, say, say it the way you said it before. I say. Come, come, come close and say it the way you said it before. I say she gave us something. It gave us something. Are you, you mad? Give me you. You are who? Who are who is us? Who are who is us? Who is us? See, you don't make money. This life. I make money and be like a man. Brother, brother, brother. Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running like this? Somebody or something is pushing you. I'm running to come and call you now. I've gotten a job for you. Is that why you're running like that? You. I'm telling you. You. Jordan. Gotten a job for me. How? I don't understand it. But I, people are even fighting for this job. But the engineer is a very good friend of mine. So he promised to keep the one packers. Hi. You know, at times you talk like an idiot. Nobody knows when you are serious. 
How can you be telling me that? Uh, 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 are you serious for it? But I'm telling you, Amma. What, what's happening? Sure. But I've gotten a job for you now. Let's just. You, let's... you mean I, 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 I can start work now? Immediately. Are you serious? Eh? So what, 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 what would I do? You don't need to bring change. anything. They will give you tools there. They're just like this. They will give you tools, everything. Tools? Yes. What kind of tools? Uh, they give you shovel. They will give you a uh, pan. Then they will give you digger. Like open up foundation, can't you be over? You will learn it through there. What are you doing? 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 They will give it to them, 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 what would you do to my brother? Eh? What kind of this is this now? Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? You know, told me where we're going to. Oh, um, forgive me. Um, straight down to the end. Um, you do a left. Jerry. Uh, when you get to the area, um, I'll direct you further. It's one of the new estates in, the, in that zone. Okay? Okay, sir. Is this the reason why you called me out here? Stop now. You know why all this thing is happening? All this thing is happening because, because I lost my white collar job. That's why all this thing is happening. What nonsense. White collar job is said. Tell me, do you even know what is the meaning of white collar job? Ah, it's an insult. What kind of insult is that? If you want to insult me, Abby? See if you want to insult me, keep me silent. You think I don't know? I don't know the, uh, the meaning of white collar job? You want me to define it for you? Fine, car. See. Uh, 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 white collar job is is a job you do and every every end of the month they will pay you a salary. That is white collar job. You think I don't know anything? It's should have more Now I know you are such an illiterate. Your insult. Yes. Uh, fine, fine. That is why I want to marry you so that. To educate me and my children marry when they start coming. <laughs> da! Marry who? <laughs> you marry me, forget it. Mm. We know ourselves. <laughs> By the time the children will start coming, you'll be the one that will be teaching us, telling us what to do. Please, why do you call me? Uh, okay, why I called you? <coughs> uh, mm. uh, Talk again, eh? Uh, I'm talking now, I'm talking. Uh, see if he uh, <coughs> uh, why I call you is this. I I want you to help me. You just uh, help me raise more actually money. Just small money, not big money. Just I just want to know if I can get three K. Uh, now I see. So this is the reason why you called me here. It is not even up to one week. I gave you five thousand naira. And now you are demanding for extra 3,000 naira. Uh, 5,000 and 3,000 is, is not the same. I will pay you. By the time now, once I get this job now, I mean, it's just that mm. I've not gotten a job, but I'm not getting a job now. Wow. God. Now I know. You don't need a job. Uh, how? You don't need a job. No, 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 I need to. Uh, I've been looking for a job now. Once I get, uh, what I say, why are you saying this now? Uh, uh, what do you mean? That time that I was working, was I not giving you money? Was I not giving you money? Don't, don't, don't. Come down, once I... At least we'll return back to normal. Ogene, okay, you owe me 35,000 naira. Yeah. And there is no hope of you paying back. Ah. And now you are demanding for extra 3,000 naira. Okay, 3,000 naira is not hmm. as 35,000. It's not as 7,000. Just 3,000 naira. By the time I get the job, when 
I will pay you. I will, soon I will get another white collar job. I'm telling you, I cannot go back to any other job apart from white collar job. Hmm. So when do you intend getting the white collar job? Very soon. How soon? Very sooner, very soon. So you need that, I'm, I'm begin to work again and everything will be. See, ah. Son, wonderful. Welcome back. Welcome, my son. Daddy, you don't look well. You just arrived. Forget how I look for now. Come, come, my son, come. Come, welcome home. Come and greet your father. Come on, that's good. Welcome. Welcome, my son. Ogadani. Yes, yeah, Ogadani. Hey! That is a good news now. You don't understand. Yes, now. Yeah, because you'll be seen as a betrayer. But you did not leave the house of your own free will. If you won't understand, you will not understand. Uh -uh. It is, it is, I should have done more. 
than leaving the house and allow that idiot to win. Idiot to win? Eh? That, that little brat that called herself Mary. So what if she arrested you or maybe framed you up because you disobeyed her? She cannot try it. Catch that idiot. Who is she? She cannot try it. Because, see, see, my wife was telling me then that I could have done something more. Not by choir and now, like I said, test, why or no? Hey. I'm telling you. But you need to calm down. Yes, you need to calm down. By the way, what did Uncle Danny say when he called? Yeah, I did not pick his call. But where? Yes, now I'm not picking because he be very mad at me. Probably get me arrested. Mad at you? Yes. Oh, now. Calm down. Pick the call. You mean I should pick the call? Yes. Hey, Chineke. Calm down. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to calm down. Hey, calm down. <sighs> hey. Hey. Where is your wife, Dad? Oh, my, my wife? Yes. Uh, she, she will soon be here. She will soon be here. Yeah. Dad. Yes. How long have things been this way? Around here? Maybe they will all come back now that you're home again. Uh -huh. The board of directors of the company has shifted a number of meetings because of my long absence. You have to represent me in the next meeting that will be coming up in about a week's time. And uh, about the new headquarter project, I, I, I want you to make it your agenda prior to the meeting, okay? Daddy. Yes. Do you honestly think that matters concerning your company should be priority now Danny boy see the company is us and we are the company we survive with the company but you see, this is your home you are here now so you can you can change anything you can fix anything anytime you want well well, well, look who we have here. Oh, Donnie, you didn't tell us you were visiting today. Why is that? I didn't know I needed your permission to come home. Oh. And who is this miscreant? Don't tell me you left the comforts of your home to come interrogate me in my husband's house. Anyways, <laughs> Jeff, that is my cousin. Your family? Yes, <laughs> family. <laughs> Anyways. Enjoy the 
ですけど。What have you done, Father? Calm down. Calm down, son. Calm down. Relax. This is not the reason I'm here. I mean, you are the cause of this whole problem. If you did not live the way you did, I wouldn't be in this position. <sighs> Jeff, I don't even know what to call this anymore. I don't know if I should call it love or stupidity. To think about the way you left me and I'm still here having a conversation with you is, I mean, it's crazy. How can I still be in love with a man like you who treated me the way you did? But I can't just help it. I'm breaking rules because of you. Change. I am going to change. She is so beautiful. Have you seen the mercy you, you, you created here? I'm asking you, have you seen the mess that you created here? I'm sorry, sir. You, you're sorry? Now you are sorry. Yeah, I, I left this house in your care and you let that little girl come here to spoil things. How long have you worked with us? Over a decade. As a, as a matter of fact, you took over from your father. Now that makes you part of this family. I left this place in your care. And then you let the common commoner come in here to spoil things. And you're sorry. Oh, Gassi, that girl, that, that girl is not a commoner. Not a chairman wife. Oh. Uh, I, but you know, there's no way I, I could have disobeyed chairman. Chairman's wife. You call her my father's wife. Was my father sitting on a wheelchair when I left this house? I'm asking you. Have you seen his state? Was he sitting on a wheelchair when I left this house? When I left, I put I, I put this whole place in your care. I told you to take care of things around here. And now what have you done? She, 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 she sacked me and, and, and sacked, sacked everyone walking in this house. It sounds stupid. She sacked you. And you did nothing about it. Nothing I could have done. Oh, there is so much you could have done because I remember calling you. I called you, gave you my contact. I told you if anything at all goes wrong call me send me a text i will take it from there and things were going wrong you could not reach out to me you could not call me and you tell me that you couldn't do anything i i, I wanted to but he warned me that i i, I, I should not in any, any other in, in. you see how stupid you look no but do you see how stupid you look what you don't have nothing to say because really there is no substance to what you have to say. You could not disobey my father just to save his life. Is that what you're telling me? See, 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 see. She, 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 she did not only sack me, sir. She kicked me out of the house. I don't care. You owe me loyalty. I have been good to you. Sorry, sir. Come on, how can you do this to my father? Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Out! Hey, hey, come back here. Is it true that uh, Lovely cannot resume her work? I hear her husband has stroke. Uh, yes, that, that is the same thing she told me. That's true, huh? Yes, sir. I see. You are going to resume work. You're going to do your work and you're going to do her work and you're going to do that alone for three months. Now, that's your punishment for the mess that you have allowed that common create here. After that, I would just maybe 
I'd reconsider getting someone to help you out around here. But for now, you do the work alone. Madam, madam. My friend, don't worry, I will take care of you now. Hey, I'm really happy for you. I'm so happy. So finally, finally. you are going back to your white collar. <laughs> Not the only white collar. Are you mad? White you collar job. You're going back to your white collar job. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't mind him. Yeah? He has forgotten that you are the GM of that house. <laughs> I have told you, yeah. funny, my dear. Take it. Hey, who? Mm. Funny enough, for that is where they are promoting me to. Ah. You have yeah. promoted you to DM now? Yeah, after the... Without salary? Are you mad? Come, 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 respect yourself. Come, 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 hey, 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 don't follow me, don't, don't, don't follow me, right? See, 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 you see, with this job, what they pay me my first salary in our village? But don't worry, eh? What? What of that are you saying? Forget it. Listen, 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 listen. Okay. Now, go back! Come out, we are late too. Eh? You know I don't want you to miss this, this color job. Okay, okay, okay. Well, thank you so much, Mama. Thank you so much for visiting. <laughs> okay, I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And you should visit us more. Uh, come on. <laughs> you know I do visit as often as I can. Mama can attest to that. Yes, he does try well enough. Yeah. No, I did not say you don't try, but well enough is what I can't attest to. Matter of fact, well enough is an overstatement. <laughs> <laughs> Adora. Adora. You see, left alone for you, enough will never be enough for you. <laughs> what are you trying to say? I don't know. That I'm hard to please? <laughs> Are you going to miss me? Of course, are you kidding me? Make sure you don't fall asleep without calling me. I'll never do that. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright. Bye. I'll see you around. <laughs> bye bye. What do you want? Please, take it easy, okay? Then leave me alone. Please, just listen to me. Danny, go away and never come back. Adora, please. Excuse me. Good afternoon, ma. to stay away from you. Please. Look! Please. Please. I, I hate beg. you! Don't I fucking hate you! Please, I, you. I have been with you all these years and you can fucking do this to me! Get the fuck away from me! I hate you! You know what? Get out! Baby, don't judge me Give me the chance to show you what I've got Baby, don't judge me Give me the space to show you what I feel 
my love for you and I'm forever. And I'm ready to prove it to you, baby. I love you. Baby, give me the chance to show you what I've got. I'm ready to fight for this love. Oh. I'm ready to do anything for you. Yeah. Baby, remember the time we used to be together. We can't do without each other. But you see. Talking to you, Mr. Man. What is going on here? If you look at me right now, you will see that I'm not happy. I beg you in the name of God, leave me alone. Pico, Pico. What is my business if you are happy or not? Why are you in my house? I fired you. You ought not to be here. Now listen to me. If you spend one more minute here, I will call the police and they will get you arrested. What is going on here? Huh? Um, when you're done with the things you're doing around here, yes, sir. I need you to go to town and pick up a few things that we need in the house. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do not forget. Yes, sir. I will not. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. <laughs> now you listen and listen, but you will not come into my home and make stupid decisions there. And as for you, you will take your silly self out of this house because this is not your home. One more minute. Hey, you cannot kill me. I cannot do anything. You cannot do anything to me. You don't fit bloody everything you think you can do. Already because of you, because I'm working for three months without salary. So respect yourself. In fact, you know what? Give me three, give me three years. Give me three years. In fact, share my poor. Get out from here, you idiot. You, you think it is before? You cannot. Hey, you can't get away. Get away. I'm going to be shit, man. Someone to take care of things here for us. And Okene is the right person. I don't want to hear this nonsense just now. I don't want to hear it because I'm beginning to get upset already. I mean, if you were not my husband, I would spank you like a child. You talk like you're a. Fan. You know, you know what I see here? You're part of the reason your son doesn't respect me in this house. And I'm not finding fun. He doesn't have. He doesn't have the right to employ anybody in my house without my permission. That is so wrong. Honey, please listen to me. Listen to me. You see, now that Danny boy is back home, we need to live in peace because things cannot continue to be the same. Whoa! Yes. <laughs> How beautiful. Oh, I should run away because Danny boy is back. No, I'm supposed to just fly out of my house because your son is back. Hello? You will talk to him. Give him a stern warning to stay off my part. Else, it's going to be a cold war between us. My son. And you are my husband. I am not tired of him, so calm down. Calm down. Oh, 
what am I even doing having a conversation with you? Oh, please, and you are my husband. Until he gets his own place. I'm not tired of him. He's calm down. Calm down! I don't even know why I'm having this conversation in the first place. There's something I want to talk to you about. Just say what it is you have to say. I'm listening. Sonny, let me ask. What, what happened to us? I mean, you are no longer loving to me. You, you despise me and you totally forgot my kindness to you. What happened? You know, you just confirmed to me that you are a very, very selfish man. Why must everything be about you? I have forgotten your kindness all of a sudden. I despise you. I am not with you. What about me? Come on, come on, baby. Come on. You know I have always loved you. I have done everything I can for you. You know that. Mr. Man, that was then. Wake up. This is now. You starve me and you sit there to tell me that you have taken care of me all my life? No! Oh, are you now trying to mock me? Because you know I am ill now. I'm oh, sick. Did I make you sick? No, Mr. Man, did I put you in the wheelchair? Why are you trying to make life miserable for me? I tried to take care of you, yet I am sex starved. I can't even cuddle my husband. I can't have a proper conversation with him. I can't do nothing with a man I call my husband. And you sit there to talk about yourself? What about me? Don't you want me to be happy? Am I not young enough to be happy? Bia, Olga, don't stress me this afternoon. Don't. It's okay. It's okay. It's no, okay. it's not okay. okay. No, if this is the conversation, I'd rather leave and go to the city. Don't tell me that you did not observe the disrespect from this idiot. I mean, this, this, this young man just gathered some guts all of a sudden. What's going on? And you are not saying anything. Darling, calm down. Ogele is an obedient and a respectable young man and all of us know that. <laughs> maybe, maybe you have to approach him to find out why he's angry or sad. Ew. Maybe. Wait a minute, I did not just hear you clearly. I should... I should consent so low to talk to who? Ogene! Yes. Jesus. Listen, I am not happy with the way you handle things in this house. That is why your son disrespects me so much. He doesn't even see me as a stepmom. Because you don't say anything. 
You only sit there and ask me to calm down. Why not tell them to step up with their respect? Go on. You're getting upset for nothing. <laughs> calm down, darling. Calm down. I need to talk to them, else I will handle them in a way they will not like. As for that idiot that calls himself a Hmm. I am going to teach him a lesson. You don't tell me how to get upset. Allow me, please. Danny, if there is anyone to put things right, it is you. I heard that your father is on a wheelchair now. But four months ago when I visited, he was on his feet, strong and healthy. I tell you one thing. <laughs> Things are already out of hands. You have to do something about it. To be honest with you, Ishii, um, in everything that has happened, I am more offended that my father did not tell me that the throne is coming to our clan. That is the problem. Daniel, your father, has become unreasonable these days. Can you imagine he refused to answer the clarion call from the Umona? Because of that little breath, we are trying to recover from the blow. Because of that little brat. And yet, he turned his back on us, his people, because of that idiot he called his wife. But I tell you, we, the Umuemeto, will never forgive him if this royalty passes us onto another clan. We will never forgive him. Um. It will not sleep, I assure you. Uh, all is not lost. I am back now, and I'm willing to work with everybody. Uh, Umameto deserve the throne. We have waited this long, and now it is coming our way. And I also think that it's a privilege that it's coming to my family. And I assure you that it will not sleep. Hmm? <laughs> I'm very glad. I'm so happy. My son, thank you very much. Thank you very much too, Ichie. I would please um, ask that you please talk to other elders. Tell them that I am here. All right. On the promise that the throne is not going to sleep. <laughs> it is my royal responsibility to make it happen and I'll work at it. clan down because of a woman. The same woman I begged you not to marry and then you let that girl into this house and you neglect everything, even yourself, father. And now the height of it is that you have refused to honor the clarion call by the Omanda. Because of a woman. Why? No, no, my son, no, no. Please calm down. Calm down. You see, I am sorry I did not discuss this, the, the issue of this royal business with you. But I knew that you eventually would find out. The truth remains that I did not refuse to take up this royal responsibility. Rather, the Omona said I must not ascend that throne with Mary as my wife. Without being told, Father, you should know that she's not worthy. Ah. Yes, Father, she is not fit to be a queen. She is not fit to stand by you. She is not fit to be a member of this family, Father. 
She is not worthy to be the queen of Umuduri. You went ahead to marry. Little girl, at not just your detriment, but the detriment of her entire clan, father. Can't you see what you're doing? Of course she has to go, father. Let her go. That girl is nothing but an embodiment of shame. Let her go. No, no, son, no. No, please don't talk like that. Don't. Marriage is sacrosanct. My decision to marry Mary and see remain married to her should be respected. Please, please, I beg you. It is being rumored. People talk about it everywhere. This town is agog with the fact that she has stolen your soul, Father. Since she came into your life, you don't think of anything else. You don't worry about anything. It's all about her. It's all about Mary. Everything centers around her. Must it be about her all the time? Of course it is all about me. Yes. I am all that matters. Do you have a problem with that? Come on, boy. Look at you. You're still young. Vibrant. Go out there. Get a life. Get girls. Party. Have fun. And leave us to hell alone. You're still a boy. Trying to advise your father. Or you haven't heard. Boys don't advise their fathers. Men do. Please, please, son, please, son, calm, calm down. I have tried. Please. I have tried to avoid talking to you in this house, but if you keep pushing me, I'll have no choice but to make you face my wrath. You would give me some respect in this house. Don't tell me to shut up. I will speak, and until I am done. Wait, wait, son, son, please, please, please. please oh, you forget on your stepmother? Calm down. Calm down. Mary. One more word. Just one more word. And I will show you that I have done you. It's okay. Hmm. A favor. By letting you enjoy some peace in this house. Just one more word. Hmm. Daddy, calm down. Mary, please go to the room and wait for me there. Please. Huh? Leave. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. That's all I ask. I know how angry you are. Please. No, Father, you don't. Please, please. No, how angry I am. You cannot disappoint me like this. You cannot disappoint an entire clan just because of a woman who has clearly shown that she has nothing else to offer other than shame, Father. It's all right, all right. We can talk this over. Calm down. Calm down, please. Huh. Calm down. Please. Yes. You called me. Can you take your hands off your pockets? Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Don't command me. You know what? I didn't call you here to banter words with you. What I'm going to say is very simple. And I don't want to waste my time. I'm listening. Are they normal? I can send you out of this house and nobody will question me. 
But I want us to end this on a friendly note. I'm going to make you an offer. And that is because I want to be very kind. I don't want us to have issues. And I want you to take this offer. I want you to pack your things and get out of my husband's house. I mean, pack and don't come back. I'm going to give you some money. How much will it cost me? You know I'm very kind. You're very kind. Kind of kind of kawagana. Listen, listen. You think it is before? Eh? I respected you before because you were here. Now it will go here. I've been kind to you. Power has been given to me over you, so don't provoke me. Don't get me angry because if you do, I'm telling you, I'm just being kind. If not, why the fly heading? Idiot. Who is there? Who is there? Good afternoon, ma'am. You're welcome. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Have your seat. Thank you, ma'am. You were here the other day. Who called his wife? Um, no problems at all, ma. Uh, my name is Danny. And I'm here to see Adora. <laughs> I hope you do not expect a young lady like Adora to be home by this time of the day. Uh, of course not. I know that she has a job. Is she aware of your visit? No. So let's just say that I have come to speak with you. Uh, Adora has refused to meet with me. Yes, because she's seen someone else. I'm aware of that. Um, but the truth is a lot has happened over time and I just have a lot to say to her. And I was hoping that she would at least grab me audience, you know? Well, I'm not aware of that, but I'll let her know about your visit. Oh, no, ma'am. It's all right. I'll do that. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Danny, right? Yes, ma'am. Danny. You're welcome. Thank you. Such an amazing time. <laughs> of course, you always give me a good time. Mommy, uh, good evening. Mama, good evening. Yes, I do. Tell me you're welcome. Thank you so much, Mama. How are you doing? I'm good. But yes, so um, I wanted to make sure she gets right inside the house safely. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mama. Okay, I'll, I'll be on my way now. Okay, baby. I'm going to call you as soon as I get home. Okay. okay? Bye, Jackson. Bye. Bye, Mama. Okay, bye. Yeah. How are you, Bob? How was your day? It was good. <laughs> ah, uh, someone came earlier today looking for you. Who? He introduced himself as Dan. Yes, Dan. <sighs> I didn't invite him, and I have no business with him. <sighs> Let me go rest. Good night, Mom.
Paris, here I come. Paris, here I come. Paris, here Jeff comes. <laughs> Just 8 a.m. is quite unusual for you to be here this early. Shut up. Ah. Jeff, what is wrong with you? I thought you have changed. I have changed a lot of things about myself because of you. Why do you keep making me angry? Of course, I have to remind you it's my birthday today. There is absolutely nothing you ever remember in your life. I basically have to talk about everything. Oh my God. I deserve more slaps. I deserve more slaps. I could have forgotten my woman's birthday. Oh, baby. You know you're my world. I'm, I'm so sorry. You, you know what? Just hold on. Just wait. It's this my woman's birthday. It's my woman's birthday. I am going to make it special for you. I'm so sorry, my love. I'm so sorry. Forgive me. Have a better, my love. Have a birthday. <laughs> Jeff, 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 this is so funny. I'm not even, I, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm not happy. No, it's okay. You, you know what? You know what? I am going to celebrate my baby. Hmm? Mm. Just sit down. Sit down. Relax, relax. You know what? I'm going to order barbecue, chicken and chips, whatever you want. Wine, champagne. Today's your day, my love. Mm. I'm coming. Mm. Just make it snappy. Can I get a glass for this? Because oh, yeah. I came here so that we can celebrate together. Hey, Mama, Mama, what's up? I'm going to take my feet out of the house. I'm going to take my feet out of the house. No, 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 Oh, thank You're welcome. you. Oh, I didn't. How do you know you guys put this together? Oh, of course, you alone put this together. Oh, <laughs> hey, hey, what is it? Sorry, darling. I know it's okay, but you this deserve is... it. Just go ahead and cut the cake. Go ahead. I should. <laughs> cut the cake. Now you're making me feel like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Um. Cut the cake. <laughs> That's one. Okay, so at the spell of what word are we cutting the cake? At the spell of uh, love. Uh, sorry, sir. Uh, at the spell of an idiot. Shut your mouth. Shut up. Don't mind him. Let me spell off. Okay. L O V E. Yay! This is so beautiful. Okay, then. Take one bottle of wine and go and enjoy yourself. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so. Hi. Darling. Oh, what would you like? Any? Left the house. Let me the surprise we have for you. I'm so sorry. I am. I am deeply sorry. It's okay. Something just gets me busy. I'm okay. sorry. Please. I said one bottle. I, I, I don't want to make a choice, sir. You said you should take a bottle. Fool. Huh. 
Can you go, Mr. Man? There, there is two here, and they are the same thing. Is it not better, I think? And leave. And leave. Huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> let me let me take this one. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Get away. Thank you, sir. Get out. Okay, let's say happy birthday. The greatest. Jesus. You Christ. see, I, 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 it is your birthday, and you should be happy. <laughs> I, I can see you are worried. Just yes, go sir. in, take your bath. I will join you soon. <laughs> this means a lot to me. I mean, <laughs> I didn't see this coming. If someone had told me that the party was home waiting for me, I would have been shot. Get in the car, let's talk, okay? Danny, please, just stay away from me, all right? I can't. If I could, I would have. All right? Come on. I don't have to just, just get in the car. Let's talk. Please. Please. I don't want to talk to you. Leave me alone. Baby, don't judge me. Give me the chance to show you what I've got. Baby, don't judge me Give me this space to show you what I feel A love for you, not forever And I'm ready to prove it to you, baby A love for you, not the life Baby, give me the chance to show you what I've got I'm ready to fight for this love, oh. I'm ready to do anything for you Baby, remember the time we used to be together We can't do without each other But it seems so far got in so soon To be together Live in peace and harmony Baby, don't judge me Give me the chance to show you what I've got Baby, don't judge me Give me this space to show you what I feel A love for you, not forever And I'm ready to prove it to you, baby A love for you, not the life Baby, give me the chance to show you what I've got I'm ready to fight for this love, oh. I'm ready to do anything for Baby, remember the time we used to be together We can't do without each other But it seems so far got in so soon How we used to be together Live in peace and harmony <laughs> Okay, so tell me Now that you're here What's the next step? What's the, what's the next plan? By the way, you look amazing. The dress is beautiful. I know I look beautiful. You always oh, tell me that anyway. Yes. <laughs> you told me that already in the car. Oh, I did? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thanks yeah. for reminding me. <laughs> but I'm but always going to... never gonna... stop. Always say. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why not? I'm always going to tell you how beautiful you are. I know. Because each time I look at you, it's like... A whole new vibe, like every second, different kind of beauty. Stop, and that's why I love you. Uh, I love you too. You're so generous with your praises. Tell me about it. <laughs> you. 
Okay, one second. Um, I'm just gonna. Hi, baby. Yeah. Tell me what is it? Please leave me alone. I don't, I don't deserve this kind of treatment from you, you know. Please. Can you just leave, please? Leave me alone! No, stop doing this to me. You know that if tables were turned, I will not treat you this way. You know. Tell me, look, I'm with someone, okay? Just go! I just want to talk to you. Leave me alone! You're embarrassing me, please. I then go. I want to talk to you, please, Adora, I beg you. Excuse me, young man. Is there a problem? No, no. It, it's uh, not. Who is he? No, it, it's nothing. Okay, don't mind me. Just come. It's nothing. Please, come. Come, come. Are you sure? Let's, let's get this chance. Come on, let's go. Baby, don't judge me. Give me this space to show you what I feel. A love for you and forever. Ready to prove it to you, baby. I love for you. Darling, I need us to talk. Baby, give me the chance to show okay. you what I've got. Go ahead and listen. I want to go into business. I, I have done my research and I've decided to go into jewelry business. It's um it's capital intensive but very lucrative. Hmm. That's okay. So uh, what and what will it cost? Lots of money. Mm. Lots of money. Like I said, it's capital intensive. It's okay. But, but darling, I, I thought we had a plan. Oh. We had a plan that you go to school oh. and obtain a degree. Oh. See, I have a company that runs nationwide and even beyond the nation. I need you to come into the management of the company. Honey, please. Please. Can I just do something for myself and buy myself once in my life? Can I? I just want to have this time. I want to do this for myself. Are you giving me the money or not? It's okay. It's all right. So, uh, how much are we talking about? Like I said before, it is capital intensive, so... Um, I need about a hundred million naira. Hundred million naira. Yes. Moreover, I have to get a shop at a good site. That will cost me some money as well. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. Um, but you have to talk to Danny about it. Hmm. Huh? Yes. Why? Oh, because he is in charge of the finances oh. now. Yes. Until you are ready to come in and be part of the management of this company. What if I talk to him and he doesn't listen? Oh, come on. He will, he will listen to you. Ugh. And if he doesn't, you will have to come back to me. Please, can I turn off the lights? Oh, I'll be waiting for you. Ah, just a moment. Please do.
go deep inside of her. She's a monster. You again? Yes, ma'am. Have a seat. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. As you can see, I was enjoying myself before you came in. Should I get to you? No, I'm fine, ma'am. I'm okay. I'm fine. If you say so. What can I do for you, Danny? Uh, Mama, I have come here because Adora. But I told you that she's seen someone else. Do I need to repeat myself? I think that she's been very hard on me. Mama, I came to you because of how highly she spoke of you. When things were beautiful, when, when she and I, you know, agreed and were happy. And now, the things are this way. I have come to you because I know that you would give me a listening ear. Okay. You will speak with her. Mm. Okay. I didn't hurt her feelings. I didn't do anything wrong to her. But even if at all she feels that she does not want to have anything to do with me anymore, but let her allow me to talk to her, please. That's okay. I will allow you to talk to her. But I believe you won't be a problem to her. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'll be on my way. How did you get my number? Love for you, baby, like. Baby, give me the chance to show you what I've got. I'm ready to fight for this love. Of Mom, you should not have given someone my number. Especially to someone who you know I do everything to try to avoid. The man seems to be very gentle and responsive. Oh, enough, mom. It's not enough reason to give him my number. Mom, privacy should be treated with utmost respect. You act like you don't know your daughter. What I expect of you is to keep my private life private because you know how much I value my privacy. Adora, you dare not shout at me like that. I'm your mother. I'm not that secretary who manages your confidentialities in your office. What? Besides, if you had managed your private life very well, I wouldn't have been involved. Spare me that. Moreover, my daughter, I suggest you give me a chance. I know you love Jews so much, but giving him a chance will not do anything in your relationship. Please. I'm begging you. I know you lost Jude so much. I know I don't have a daughter that doesn't have conscience. Just consider him. Okay? Seems 
Conscience feels guilty. <laughs> you know, I've been avoiding him because I didn't know how to face him. This man was so good to me. I didn't treat him nicely. I didn't know. I didn't trust him enough. I thought he said he cheated on you. That was why you left him. No. I was wrong. <laughs> Good day, Adora. How did you locate this place? Don't even bother explaining. What do you want? My name is Simosa. Tell me why you're here. <sighs> All right. I'm here to tell you the truth. Danny never cheated on you with me. Is that all? You can go now. Adora, I know you wouldn't believe me. But I swear with my unborn child, he didn't cheat on you with me. He didn't even go close. See, Danny was my childhood friend. His late mother was my mother's best friend. We attended the same school, the same church, everything. That was just a brother that I never had. We were just so close before he left the country. Nothing happened. We never had any sexual relationship. So why are you telling me all this? Because he was heartbroken when you didn't believe him. And you left him consequent to that. I don't know what you saw was not the truth. Well, who would have thought that this, you know, small me, you know, uh, what my mother told me I was going to be great anyway. Yeah. She told me I was going to be great. You know. So who would have thought that this small me now? Uh, every week. You're not small, You're not just small. <laughs> That's why! Greatness is good on you. Thank you. Thank you. You said we are talking that you're wrong. <laughs> okay. Hell, that was what some of our colleagues that collected money from India ABC were saying. If you are not here, you're wrong. Mm -hmm. I hope I just well. You see how Nigeria goes. <laughs> so, as we were saying, mm -hmm. a lot of people that day said that um, it was national breakfast. Something we had no see because, of course, the day before that day, two days after that day, of course, I don't see it. So it was later on beginning to try to catch up what had happened on social media. You know, it was huge. I didn't know it was that big though. Very big. Are you serious? I'm telling you. Yes, the social media. Shut down. <laughs> shut down like total shut down. I'm telling you. Wow. Everywhere you turn. Everywhere you turn. <laughs> hey, there. I made the phone. I think that was the one of the very biggest. <laughs>
I've never met you before then. But trust me, I know exactly how you feel. I equally know how much you mean to him. I understand any girl in your position would do exactly what you did. But believe you me, we never had sex. Danny, it's my best friend. Please, you need... You need to go back to your man. You two deserve each other. Guys. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, it's okay, stop crying, okay? That's the reason you have to look for him. You need to see him, to sort things out. Yes, so that he will move on with his life. Okay? No, it's not going to be that easy. I know, but you have to do it. Please. It's okay, stop crying. Stop crying. <laughs> Stop crying now. I it. It's okay, I know, it's okay. I will start crying too. Oh, I will start crying. Oh, no. I will stop crying too. Oh, I'm sorry. Thunder that is coming, thunder that is coming from Abuja that is going to Abo with the man to this place and destroy it. Oh, Ah, Bia, you this idiot. So you've been here this whole time and I have been calling your name. Why didn't you answer me? That is the problem. That is the problem. No, no, why, why are you shouting my name like that? Eh? Why are you shout, shouting my name as if I'm a dog? Am I a dog? You are worse than a dog. I'm worse than a dog. You are useless as a puppy. That is what you are. So you were here the whole time. Anyways, I don't have your time. My friend, take this money. Run down to the supermarket and get me those things on the list. Me? 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 Buy? Come, come. Go to Listen, if, if I do it, eh? If, if I try it, let my left hand bend like this. In fact, if I try it, let me grow hunchback. Okay, you will grow hunchback. In fact, you will become a dwarf. What nonsense? Minutes. Are you actually talking to me in that manner? Yeah, yes, I'm talking to you in that manner. What will you do? What will you know if I talk to you in that manner? What will you do? Go and report you to whoever. In fact, again, if I try this, don't say that you said that. If I try it, instead of me to, in fact, instead of me to do it, I will resign. Instead of me to, to do your beat in this house again, I will resign. Okay, it's better you resign. It is better you resign because I am sick and tired of this nonsense attitude. It's better you resign. Okay, you are sick and tired of Yes, I am. Sick and tired of me. Oh God, oh God, you can never be sick and tired of me. You can't. Yes, because you are not the one that employed me. I'm not working for you. Hey, come, who are you? Hey, hey, hey. Mary, Mary. Avoid me in this house, avoid me. Avoid me! Avoid me or Mary! Oh, Mary. Oh, wait a minute. Did I? Did I hear you clearly? Did you just address me by my name? Yes, eh? Uh -huh. Is your name Mary? You called me Mary. Is your name not Mary? Do you have another name? If you have another name, tell me and I will still call you by that name. Or I call you she idiot. You think I'm afraid of you? Can you answer again? Eh? Can you ask? Can you ever your life? Answer again, eh? Can you ask your girl You cannot drink because okay, God ain't in an okay, the one I don't drink or no one I drink. Okay, the one you cannot try it. You cannot even ask. God, my sister, you idiot. You think it is before? You think you are? Hey, she can't put it to your tongue. 
You know, as much as I try to blank my mind and coexist with you in this house as my father's wife, I still find it difficult. To stomach the lies and deceit that you lead as a life. You claim to love my father, yet you frolic with that non entity. The rascal that you called your cousin. You must really think that I am a fool. Mary, I know that your conscience is long dead. But I appeal to you in the most loving, brotherly fashion to please Resurrect what is left of your conscience and let my father go. Are you done? Well, I must tell you, that was a long, boring speech. Ish. Anyways, from the little I picked, I will advise you take this your little pathetic plea to your father. Make him understand why I need to leave. But I bet you can't do that. I'll tell you this and I want it to live rent free in your head. My union with your father it's for better, for worse. For better, for worse, you say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like the sound of that. For better, for worse. Sounds good to me, because very soon, the worst would hit you like a thunderbolt. Wait for it. Right now, I am so upset. Like, just so many things going on in my head and I'm just trying to stay calm. If I had the lever to hit someone or kill anybody, that idiot that calls himself Danny is the first person I would kill. My God, I would strangle him in his sleep. I had a talk with my husband, telling him that I wanted to start a jewelry business. And then he says, that if I must get the money, I should meet his son, Danny Boy. That he is the one in charge of accounts and giving out money and what nonsense. And then I brought myself so low to even have a proper conversation with that idiot. Guess what a fool had to say to me? That 
the money his father said he was going to give to me, that he wants to strike a deal with me. That I should divorce the father and he's going to make the money available. Can you imagine? Of course. Of course you have to divorce his father. Because you're mine. And you're mine alone. But how much are we talking about here? A hundred million naira. No. No way. That money is way too small. Hmm? Yes. Listen. And listen attentively. You will forget about that business for now. You will play along until I tell you what to do. That money is too small. His name is Danny. So his name is Danny. A hundred million is small. That's not what we're looking for right now. We need way more than that. Okay. Okay. My dear, you only did well. Eh? This is what you should have done long time ago. If I had known on time, eh, I would have. Seriously. But I still can't believe that Ogadan said that and actually meant it. Ah, he meant it though. He meant it with all his life. I know him now. Hey. This is clearly an out of wickedness. Eh? And it's not that they don't have this money. Oh. Ah, they have it though. They have it five times over. In fact, ten times over. They have it. Rich they have people. it too. Rich people. They are very stingy nowadays. And I don't know why. I'm telling you. And that is that's the, the, the most surprising part of the whole thing. Uh, yeah? Surprising part? Yes, yes, now. How do you mean? It, it is it, it is surprise to me because Oka that I know. My Oka that I know. Used to dash me money. I'm telling you, you used to tip me, dash me money, gives me money. You just go, hey, 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 how are you? Wow. Hey. To a point that that even before the month ends, I will get close to my fat half of my salary or even above my salary yeah. from his tips. I'm telling you. So that is why it's surprising to me. So what now changed? I don't know. I don't know. Seriously, I don't know. Hey. Probably he learned, he learned, he learned stinginess from abroad. I'm telling you, yes now. Because ever since he came back, hmm. he stopped being funny. Hey. He stopped dashing me money. Every time he would just be angry. Yeah. He learned that stinginess from abroad. Huh? Hey God, God, why did he even travel? Why would he go to abroad and learn how to be stingy? Or the man? Hmm. Yeah. Hi. But I think what you did to him really pained him this much. Yes. How? Because according to you, you said he's punishing you, right? Uh -huh. So no. For offense I did not know. Offense I did not commit. I don't know why he's punishing me. Uh -uh. Yeah? I can't even remember anything. Okay, fine. Yes, 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 yes. I remember he said to me, he said, uh, uh, hey, come, come. He was very angry. Uh, I, 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 I left the house under your care and you abandoned it. Hmm. And he said again that, uh, hey, 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 why did you not call me? You could have called me. He also said that, uh, uh, yes, he also said, uh, what if my father had died? In fact, he said too many things. Wait. What if his father had died? Uh, that means his father was sick and you abandoned him. Mbao, mbao, mbao. Oh! Mbao. Uh, uh, if you baba, no good deal. No just good deal. Mm. As at when I was in the house, you understand? The father was not sick. Do you understand? But he's sick, man. Hey. Even on the wheelchair. Oh. Ah, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. 
Now I know where his anger is coming from. Now I know! Hey! I don't know where. Ha -ha. You say now you know. You yes! Know where. So where? Because you did not do well at all. How? You asking me how? You did not try at all. Oh, you did not try. Hey. Yes! You did not try. Nah, you did not try. You did not try. What is it? Hey? You did not try. At all. Like you, you sound like a broken record. Hey. Okay, fine. Uh, you did not try at all. Hey. How do you feel now? You did not try. What do you mean? You did not try. You, you did not try. Work the idiot. Okay, okay. You did not do it. Okay. okay. Sir, what is it? Your 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 face is not is not good. Oh, thank you, sir. You're a good man. Thank you for 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 following that. I I I am not okay. Is it not okay? Mm -hmm. He has he has he has refused to pay me since I resumed to work. Why now? I don't know. Eh? He's punishing me for 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 something I I I, I know nothing about. Uh, uh, that uh, I, I, I misbehaved. That when he was away, I was not doing my job well. This and that and all that. Yeah. And I have responsibilities. I need money. Hmm. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Anyway, don't worry yourself. I will talk to him when he comes back. Oh, please. Thank you, sir. I will I'll be happy. Yeah. He, 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 you see, I have, I have responsibilities. Eh? And he said, eh, this is the two months now. He said he was not going to pay me until after three months. Gemma, eh? mm. I have a woman I want to marry. Really? But, yes. But I'm losing how. Uh, Each time she asks for money, I would tell her I don't have. You know that kind of a thing now. For instance, now, you're a woman. What in God's name is this little, tiny, swiney maggot doing in my room? You see, you see. I just stepped out to get something. How did you get into my husband's room? Don't tell me. German, German, you see what I'm talking about? You see, see, see. What, is, what is this now? Eh? All the suffering that I've been suffering in this house is because of you. Why can't you just allow me to do my work? Just, 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 just shut up. Just, just shut up. Keep your mouth shut. What do you know about job? What work? You think you have been working? All you do in this house is gossip, ferment, trouble, and try to act like you are the nicest person on earth. My friend, get your silly self after my husband's throne. Bastard. Uh, okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just go. Just go. No. No. Just go. Let him not go. In fact, don't go. Come and stay with us in the room. Come, let me open the bed sheet for you. Come. When I lie there, my husband lie here. You, you will lie in the middle. So that you can separate us throughout the night. Since you want to stay in my husband's room. Come back. Come and lie down in between. Nonsense. German. Baby, it's okay. It's all right. It's okay. What is what is all this? Rubbish. Get out from this place, sir. Every time you'll be swelling like puff puff that they did not fry complete. Yeah. Get out from here. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. It's okay now, Gene. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's yours too. Rubbish. Every time you raise shoulders, spread like COVID 19. Oswa. What nonsense. Oswa. Please, please, and please, please don't. See, you're getting me upset this afternoon. I'm trying so hard to contain myself. It is because of you, this. This nonentity, this thing that looks like unwanted pregnancy, talks to me anyhow in this house. What nonsense! Let me see you in this room again. I'll be talking. You'll be swelling like 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 COVID nineteen. Is that a madman? Eh? It's okay. So you want to report me to my father? No, sir. No, go, go, go forbid it. Me, I can't try it. I, I, I'm, I'm stupid. No, sir. No, sir. I did not do. So what exactly did you do? Are you saying that I'm lying? No, no, you're not lying, sir. Go forbid that you are. No, no, you're, you're not lying, sir. It, 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 just that. Oh, oh, God, see, problem through my head. If you don't say this, I won't die. You know, that kind of thing. So I was looking for who to, you know, share the problem with, and it was chairman that was available. It's not as if I went and reported you to him. No, no. Oh, 
Which you okay? What kind of problem? The problem is that sir, I need money. Money is my problem. In fact, I am suffering from money area. The pocket is empty. In fact, the pockets are empty, sir. Ogene, okay, you get paid next week. This week, I'm ban. I will die before next week. Oh, I'm telling you, I've not been eating well. You don't know, I, 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 what I have, I, I, I have been eating all this while was a bones of of akoyibo. Gare, my 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 is bad. Guy, gare. Except you want me to go and steal, sir. Do you want to steal? It's not that I want to steal. I wanna, you know, condition. If you want to steal, please go ahead and steal. You see anything you want to steal, steal. But let me catch you misbehaving. Let me catch you not doing your work. Watch me sack you. So, so much. I don't want to say that. I, I don't want to I'll wait till that now. Please week. leave. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, please, sir. Oh, sir. Sister, I'm looking at you, look more than tired if you're going to marry. Sister, I'm looking at you, look more than tired. So tell me, what's going on? Amaka, I said there is nothing. I just walked a long distance. Walked a long distance? Why will you be walking home when you can possibly take a keke drop or bike? I don't understand. Huh. Amaka, keke you said. Where will I see that money from? <laughs> I don't understand you, sister. What do you mean by where will you see money from? Amaka, please. I am tired. I don't have strength to talk. I don't. Sister, if I can remember, you went to see your so-called boyfriend. So are you trying to tell me that he didn't give you transport money? I want to talk of normal tip. Amaka, my departure wasn't planned. So I really did not blame him. You will never blame him, sister. You won't ever blame him. You always defend him, even when you know that he's wrong in what he's doing. I'm not surprised. You will never understand. Make me understand. See that he's stingy, or he doesn't have money to give you as transport fare. Oh like it's broke. enough. That is enough. I mean, I've had enough of this. I'm sorry, sister, but you know what they always say. The truth is bitter. Like I said earlier, that is enough. Please! Okay, ma. I've heard you. You can come inside. I prepared something. So you don't talk. I tell you, your mom is... Is everything that you described her to be and more. I mean, she's the true essence of magnificence. Look at that woman. Huh? Thank you. You're welcome. And you. Huh? Life and time has not even done a number on you yet. It's almost as if life has given you more. And time has blessed you with more beauty and energy. Abdullah, you're beautiful. God damn it. <laughs> Thank you. You always make him poems of me. Because you inspire them. That's why. Thank you. <laughs> So what's this next step now? If you don't know, I don't just know. Uh, yes, were well, you not the one that suggested I, I should report to, 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 to Chief? I've done that now. Look at where it has landed me. Eh? Are you not pushing the blame to me? Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm not pushing the blame to you. You know that uh, you, should, you should come up with something else. I mean, 
something that will not worsen the matter. I know. Just calm down. Calm down, okay? Uh, I, I'm calm. You know that you should come up with something. Good. I mean, something, 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 good, something that will not put, that will not worsen the matter. Mm -hmm. Calm down. Mm -hmm. Calm down. Mm -hmm. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. You know that. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Go, 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 go. Did you see that? I'm sorry. Just leave my back. Go! I'm not going to face today. No, no, no. Imagine, I'm, imagine the insult. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go! Do not repeat yourself again, please. It's all right. Please, it's all right. Huh? You know we have a pressing issue at hand right now. So let us put our heads together so we know what to do. Please. Just forgive her. Like I said, it will not repeat itself again. And you know we have a pressing issue at hand. Forget about the pressing issue. Forget about it. Look, can you, can you imagine that Amaka tell it to me? Posing like an idiot and, and this is <laughs> me. Amaka, Amaka, it's all right, no problem. So now we just need to put it together so that we can know what to do. Please, just leave Amaka. Ah, oh, me, because of condition. That was your problem. Now, are you not the, 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 are you not the master planner and chief advisor? Uh, come up with something. Uh -uh. Uh, something tangible. And what is the meaning of that? What do you mean? No, no, tell me, what do you mean? Did I say anything? Did I say anything? Amaka, what was the meaning of that act you just displayed out there? And what else are you talking about? Don't give me that look. Of course you know what I'm talking about. Sis, honestly, I don't know what you're talking about. Amaka, this should be the very first and the last time this will repeat itself again. And now, listen good. I will not want you to talk to my boyfriend in such a tone and manner again. Yeah. But I didn't talk to anyone just now. I didn't even utter a word. Maybe you've forgotten that action speaks loud volume. I will not warn you again. Read my lips. I will not warn you again. <laughs> Boyfriend, my foot. I've been taking it very easy on him since. But he doesn't want to hear what. This time I run. I'm going to give it to him back to back. Rubbish. He will run from my sister. Useless man. This is just the beginning. It's okay, let me go. Okay. Yeah? Let me go. Alright. All right. Okay. Oh! <laughs> uh. Wow! You're here. Hi. Um your girlfriend, I guess. She's cute. <laughs> Hello. Am I interrupting so uh, never mind. <laughs> I'll just let you have your time, okay? <laughs> Enjoy yourself. It's fine. Have a good time. Bye.
on me. What is it? Is there any problem? Let him see you. Just look at the pain that he has cost you. No, 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 mommy, no. You did the right thing. Okay? Oh, stop, stop crying. Good. Stop crying. <laughs> I hate seeing you crying. Hmm? <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay now. It's okay. <laughs> mommy, he hates me. It's okay, it's alright. It's a guy who raped me three years ago. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I said, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry for for opening old wounds. If I hadn't asked you out here yesterday, you would have run into the same guy you you've been trying to avoid all your life. I'm sorry. I, I know how it can be, you know. Someone you're trying to stop thinking about and all of a sudden you you find yourself standing right in front of that same person. It, it can be devastating. But I tell you what, you are stronger than that circumstance. You're a strong, beautiful woman. You don't have to think about it no more. Trust me. Okay? Don't dwell on it. I know it's hard. But if you continue to dwell on it, it is going to bring a lot of misery to your soul. Please. Try to blot it out of your memory. Come on. Thank you. I'll try. I mean, it's going to be hard, but I try not to give it a thought anymore. You can do it. I'll try. Come on, let's get you a drink. Okay. At this point, you should drink something. What nonsense is this? Throw, throw, throw it. You mean this guy came to our house to warn me? I'm telling you. She did it. Oh, oh, oh. Very useless. Eh, uh, but you shouldn't have snapped her. Eh? Was it her? Yes, now. Yes, yes, again. You know, you know, you have you have a temperamental problem. You should have called me. But I call, call, called you. How? Because I don't know. Because I'm not going to now. She came to our house and was laying abuses on our family. Simple. How? Go, 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 go. The problem with this guy, you talk with her. She said, Girl, you shouldn't have slapped her. Oh, no, it's the only slap that you slap her. Brother, if she's a small girl and she goes around insulting people, let her not try it with me. Let her not try it with me at all. If she goes around insulting people, see, I even let her talk at some length because of the family relationship we had with them. If not, I would have given it to her with Topolios. Okay, yeah, I would have given her a maximum beating of her life. Utopolius. You would have given her a maximum beating of her life. I've told you this thing. I've told you this thing. And I'm telling you now. You have to walk on your temper. Hey, that parlor. Walk on your temper. But I didn't see you. No, 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 Trouble had Roma. You don't just go around making troubles. And, 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 and who, who are you calling? Uh, let me call her sister now. My babe. Let me call her sister to know how she is doing. Because. Uh, but did you did you ask me how I'm doing? Oh, how you are doing? Oh, now. How are you doing? Did she slap you too? But, I, but I, what she did is, is even worse than slap. She slapped mama, she slapped papa, she slapped you, she slapped me. Shut, 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 shut up! Shut up! She slapped me. I've told you this story. Stop going about, about making trouble with this boy. What's your problem? So I don't even understand that. Are you not even hearing what I'm saying? Somebody that came to our compound that was laying abuses on our family and you expect me to just keep quiet and leave her just like that. Huh? Yeah, who? I've told you this in there. Stop slapping people. Phil, allow me to handle things. Just allow me to handle things. Huh? Okay, fine. Uh, that she insulted me. Are you the one that she insulted? Ah. Uh, okay, call him an insult or something. I, anybody that insulted you have also insulted me. My friend, shut up. Just shut up there. Huh? That's how you go around slapping people. One day you will slap a witch or a native doctor and he will give you slapping jices. And you'll be slapping people now. One day you come here now and see your garden. You slap him. What's your problem? See, I came into this world before you. I see you all you wear. So you don't behave, uh, behave well. Look, just, just look at me. Yeah? Look at me. Yeah? 
I think I know where your problem is coming from. Your problem is this your nonsense hair. You see, ayaka, ayaka, ayaka. What is this now? Eh? That's your problem. You see, you see, cha, 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 cha. Yeah, 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 but, but, what, what kind of fish is there? What kind of rubbish is this? You told you I have, I have interest. Oga, in Oga, you have to go home and remove all this nonsense. You have, you, eh? You have interest in music. Uh -huh, no. You have interest in music. You're building my music career. You are building your music career. You are building career. Is it this nonsense that is doing the music career? Is no, no. Is it the 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 the, the idiot hair that is doing the music career? Yeah. You have interest in music. With this, my friend, you go home and play it off. So that you reason like a woman pain. Yeah? I am your sweet. Just look at me. Look at how dressed and how neat and decent that I am. But dressing. Your, your dressing is, uh, is the nature of your job now. You're a good man. That's why you're, you're. The nature of my job? I'm a good man. It's not. Because. Say my boy, you're so idiot. Don't you get my walk in here? Sound. I'm just waiting for a car. Hey, what's the name? Vanessa. Vanessa. You could call me Jeff. Well. Jeffrey. Million dollar Jeffrey. Hey, come on, turn around, man. You look up. Wow. Um, you, you by any chance stay around here? Yeah. So where you headed? Anywhere. You don't forget about where you're going to. You know what? I'm going to spoil you today. Okay. There's this um, Chinese restaurant down the road. I don't care what you do with Mary. But you see that girl that you keep harassing? Stay away from her. She is close to me. She means a lot to me. Stay away from her. Do not take my gentility for granted. And you don't see me coming. Are you drunk or something? Hey, come here, I'm talking to you. Are you drunk or something? What is wrong with you? Do you know who you're talking to? Never in your life. Talk to me that way again. Else, I'll show you what I'm made of. You fool. I'm a fool, right? Yeah. You call me a fool. You fool. You big fool. It's your lucky fool. What did I do? <laughs> now listen and listen real good. This is just a tip. What did I say? This is just a tip of what will happen to you the next time you try that rubbish. Nonsense. Amaka, what's going on? Nothing. You can't possibly say nothing. Your sister can't just walk in here and slap you for no reason. She's just being stupid. Your elder sister being stupid. Why would you say that? Would you? My sister is head bent on following that stupid and useless again of a guy. 
I'm tired. I don't understand. Uju, Ogene is useless. Oh, work efu. He's a useless man. He has nothing to offer. He's nothing to write him about. I I'm tired. Are you forgetting something here? Like the same Ogene you're talking about is the same person that saw your sister through school and opened the shop for her. So why are you saying all this? And which stupid shop are you talking about? Eh? The shop that he squandered to. Please don't 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 even say that, Biko. Amaka, seriously, I don't like the way you're judging this case. I don't like it. I'll handle it my way. And that's your way is not the best. having for dinner. Mr. Man, I am talking to you. What are we having for dinner? Danny has told me what to prepare. So, uh, you get now. Yes, hello. Man, it broke my mouth. What? Yes. That guy is mean and very vicious. Uh, you, you know what? Just look for any pharmacy very close to you. Go there and get some treatments. I'll be with you as soon as possible. Don't worry, I know what to do. I'll be fine, I'll be fine, don't worry, I'll be fine. It's okay. Alright, I'll see you in a bit. Hey now, but why would she be following someone who has nothing to offer? Why would you say a thing like that? But that is the truth. What nonsense truth are you talking about? Please, if you don't know what to say, just close your mouth. Would you? If they ask you to choose between Alpha and Ogin, who will you choose? I, would you? I will always choose Ogin over Alpha because I'm considerate and I have conscience. Do you know this organic you are talking about has been there for Ify for a long time? Do you think everything is about money? No. Spare me that. Because he has been there for her. So she should kill herself with hunger. Please, spare me that. Is it because Ugeni has done a lot for her in the past? She should not die of hunger. I get them before the property, my dear. Please, let's just change the topic a bit. Let's just leave Ify and Ugeni. Actually, we have good news. Your father is fast improving. He's improving very fast. In fact, now he can move his limbs. He can move. In fact, he's actually doing very well. He's doing very well. You know what? He actually suffered from degenerative arthritis. And it is often caused by the wear and tear that comes with old age and the usage of the limbs and everything. But I thank God he's actually getting better now. And the diet, it really helped a lot. It helped a lot. So I want him to continue with that. Thank you very much. This is actually good news. 
you know. Um, I want you to know that I appreciate all that you do for him. And I also cannot wait for him to, to get back on his feet. Wow, your, your father, father is a fighter. fighter. So, so I'm, I'm not surprised, surprised that he's going to. He will definitely be on his feet. He will. Yeah. You're giving me assurances that it's going to work out. Yes, it's going to work out. Or oh, don't you trust me? Remember, she's my sister. Thank you very much. Yeah, you, you know that the last time I even came to talk to her, I was talking to her, she wasn't even talking back at me. Like, she just walked out on me. That's so bad. No, give her some time. Just give her some time. I know she will come around. She will come to her senses. Are you sure? Yes. Um, you know what? Just come tomorrow. I should come tomorrow. Yes, come tomorrow. Tomorrow. Can't you hear me? I said you should come tomorrow. Okay, I'll come tomorrow. I should come tomorrow. Can you just come tomorrow? So, you are now on a wheelchair support. Daniel, how did you get into this mess? This is so sad. Okay. That is not a matter. Mm. The problem is that how can we present a cripple to Umuduri community? We are talking about his health. And you are saying that his health does not matter. I know what I'm saying. I talk about things that matters most. The throne of Umuduri matters most to Umuemeto clan. And he must bring back the royalty. The throne is very paramount to us. The throne is paramount to us. Of course. The throne is important to the community. But the health of our brother is what matters most. Without his health, we will likely lose the same throne. So his health is the most important. Don't tell me that. Don't you tell me that. My orders, oh, please. Um, calm down, for I understand your interests, and the truth is, your interests are the interests of every well-meaning member of a Wemeton clan. My father is responding to treatment. I know how expedient it is that he gets back on his feet. But I assure you that we're doing the best that we can. The doctor is always here to look at him, take good care of him. And the last couple of days we have um, recorded a great level of improvement on his part. And as much as we're running out of time, my orders, I can assure you that in the next couple of weeks, my father will be on his feet again, just like before. So please, patience, huh? But what about that woman he married that he calls his wife? Uh, that's a family matter. We are dealing with it. We have to get rid of that evil woman. Okay, Uma. Danny told you that we should not worry, that everything is taken care of, so we will have to trust him. At least we are here and now nobody asks us to leave. That is to say, <laughs> we have changes in his body. No, no. Yes. You said that my health does not matter. 
You also said that the throne of the clan is paramount. And you said all this before me. Ah, Nana, how could you? How could you allow yourself to be so ambitious of the throne? Ah, Daniel. I am very ambitious of the throne because it is well deserved of us. You have to bring the royalty back to um, Umoemoito clan. You have to stand up from that wheelchair. Well, sister. Amaka, please, can you change the topic? Sister. See, I'm not saying that you should marry him or, or accept him as your boyfriend. All I'm saying is that you should just give him a listening ear. You never can tell. Hmm. Okay, I've heard. Maybe when next I see him. Well, he's actually on his way to our house as we speak. Amaka! Hello. Welcome, sir. How are you doing? I'm fine. Excuse me. Okay, how are you? I'm fine. Am I? Yes. Um, so, um, I heard you sold out all your goods in the shop. That's why you've not been coming to work. I know it's feeding with all those lies. Never mind. It doesn't matter. See? I want you to equip your shop so that you can go back to business again, okay? Thank you, but I'm fine. If you, if you see, I, 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 you, you, it's not as if I, I'm, I'm doing this because I want anything from you or I'm doing it because it's you. I'm just doing it because it's the right thing to do. I can actually do it for anybody. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, now I see. You go about opening shop for people, right? If he is not, he's not like that. No, if he is not like that, see, like it's not like I want anything from you. So, how many shops have you opened for people? I guess none. Please, can you change the topic, Afam? Okay, okay, okay. So, how you doing? That was the first question you asked me when you entered here. Like I said, please change the topic. I don't, I don't know why you're shouting now. I'm just asking how you're doing. And I said I'm fine. She's not even listening to me. Why will you say that? The other day you told me that she wasn't listening to you. Do you know the effort I put through to make you come to the house and you guys have to sit down and talk? Hey. Don't say that. Please. Don't get me wrong, guy. Right? I'm aware of all you've done for me. And I appreciate you. I appreciate all your efforts. For real. I do. You're welcome. Okay. <sighs> so what next now? Um, okay, you guys have talked. And obviously, I guess she will listen to you. I'll update you on what next to do. Thank you very much. That's wonderful. Thank you once again, okay? I, 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 even, I even gave her money and she refused to take it. Why? Anyways, give me the money. I'll give it to her and I'll make sure she collects it. Wow, you're such an angel. <sighs> Thank you very much. Trust me, just, just give her this money. All this? Just give it to her, okay? If this thing works out, I, I'll have a present for you. Really? Yes. Don't worry, I'll make sure I convince her. Avi. Yeah. All right, I have to be on my way now. Okay. Bye-bye. Sure. Yeah, bye. It's the money my sister is rejecting. We'll go and talk. Dad, I need you to divorce that woman. She has got to leave you alone. Can you do it? My son. Marriage is for better, for worse. Clearly, for worse. As we can see in this case, things are terrible with the both of you, Father. Why did you even bother to, to remarry? What exactly were you looking for? What, 
what what ignited the urge in you to remarry and fall into the hands of this kind of woman? Now see how you are with her. I think of it and it just makes me sick. I, I just wonder. Mary was not like this when I married her. Until after two years of our marriage. You see, before now, she needed someone like me to be alive. And I brought her in and gave her life. Yourself? What is it? I'm sorry. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Now. There you go. Where, where? Come, 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 come. Let's let's get to the car. Eh? Let's get to the car. Young lady, see, nobody is allowed to take his or her own life, despite the, 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 the situation that, 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 that brought about that, that, that kind of decision. You, you can't take your life. Eh? Now, now, calm down. Calm down, okay? Calm down. Tell me what the problem is all about. I said, calm down. Listen. I said, everything is going to be all right. Did you hear me? Please tell me, what, what is your name? Uh, wh where are you coming from? And what really happened to you? Talk to me. My name is Mary. Okay. While growing up, I lived the most part of my life in an orphanage home. It was peaceful. And I had become well acquainted with life without a family. I was young, wild and free. Looking for some fun when I met a man who gave me more than enough. As a matter of fact, he had everything. Everything that swept me off my feet. He held my hand and I touched the sky. As a matter of fact, life became more than what I knew. Life could really be more than one's experience. Life is actually fun when there is a provider. He gave me a new home and a life I had believed only happened in movies. 
You know that kind of miracle? It was like my broken TV turned on showing beautiful curtains in my living room. In my own case, the provision was surplus. He showered me with every gift. And then to me, life was complete. He made me a queen and gave me everything. He exposed me to a life of luxury and pleasure. And he was always there doing everything for me. Things went from bad to worse. He started taking drugs. Initially, he would always hide it from me. But at some point, he stopped. Then it dawned on me. Yeah, toast the money, toast the freedom, toast the wealth. It's a lie. This is for you. Oh my God. Fun became my daily activity that I forgot the years I lost living in the orphanage home with no family and no welfare. In a little space of time after I met him, I recovered my wasted years of hopelessness and unhappiness. I love it! I love it, I love it, I love it. Thank you so much. Oh my God. This is beautiful. Come here, let me give you a ride. Oh, sorry, I forgot I don't know how to drive. You call me late. Okay. So we became a family, such a happy home. What could I have asked for more? I could offer my whole soul and body to keep it going. And so to make him happy, there is no limit to things I did not do. In my heart, I always thought he deserved the best. My body. It was more than a dream because the thought of having such a blissful life barely crossed my mind. Jeff, Jeff must be God sent.
With time, he became unfair to me. Each time I noticed I was pregnant, I became terrified. Because I knew he would ask me to abort it. That had happened seven times. That was how I knew my problem just started. With time, he became unfair to me. Each time I noticed I was pregnant, I became terrified. Because I knew he would ask me to abort it. That had happened seven times. That was how I knew my problem just started. Life is unstable. When things change for good, the worst prepares to succeed. Things do not change from good to better, but from good to worse, until the worst brings out our end. Finally, I realized I had become his sex slave. I had no choice, but at least I had to avoid getting pregnant as he wouldn't allow me have a baby for him. So I offered him a pack of condom. He would get upset at every little thing I do. But this case was worse. He loses it all. He gave me the beating of my life. What could be worse when all was lost? The new home I had found went down the drain and I couldn't save it. And it happened that when I took in for the eighth time, I decided that I wouldn't let him know. You know? He barely comes close to me except for sex. Unfortunately, on the fourth month of my pregnancy, he noticed it. He wouldn't let the unborn child leave the next minute he found out. He descended on me until the seed in my womb was crushed. <laughs> When the thought of how rejected I was filled my mind, I realized I was indeed without hope. Life is compiled with so many beefs. Imagine life like a grief. It's gotten odd. I felt so abandoned and awful.
when I got the news that he had sold the house and properties and ran out of the country to avoid his debts. Who could I have called? Who could I have called when all failed? When I was well enough to leave the hospital, the doctor then disclosed my health condition to me. Besides losing my baby, my womb was damaged due to the harm done to my eternal organs. How I wished to die, but even death rejected me while leaving has become very loathsome. Life is unstable. When things get good, the worst prepares to succeed. Things don't get from good to better. It gets from better to worst. And the worst <laughs> brings our end. It's okay. It's all right.
And so, years after our marriage, the young man returned from abroad and she fell back to him. And you married her out of pity. Daddy, that is not even close to a good reason to get married. Do I know one? Yes, you're right. You're right. But I do not want to regret the good thing that I have done. Even though I have found out of late that my good deed was done out of no good reason. Life has favored me with good fortune. I have been allowed to get all I wanted. And everything I have gotten, I got on a platter of gold. So, I do not wish to overstress myself. You're right. You have nothing to worry about. I have everything to worry about. Good night, Dad. Oh, here he is, Daddy's boy. You know, I have patiently waited for your father to throw me out of the house. Surprisingly, he hasn't. Or better still, bring the war that you preached the other day. Why are you suddenly running into your own shell? I'm not even going to pretend that someone is hovering around me, let alone talking to me. For I will not condescend so dishonorably low to get into an argument with a slave like you. <laughs> okay. Nice speech. But we will see. Engineer Jude. Good day, sir. How are you? I'm fine, sir. How are you? Ah. Oh, well, well, you look much better now. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Thank sir. you. Please, please sit down. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I was about calling you to visit my son's office earlier today. I would have visited before now, but I decided to come and see you first, just to know how you're doing. That's very kind of you. That's kind of you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, my dear. Sir? Meet my son. He returned from the United States to come and manage my business. Son. This is Engineer Jude. His father worked for your late mother's father. He is the engineer I was to tell you about that will take up the construction of our new office headquarters. Danny, my pleasure. Yes. Uh, please, please uh, get him something to drink. He's a very good friend of the family. By all means.
Please hold on, Mr. Duffy. One second, please. Um, I wanted to ask you about something. Do you know Adora? I mean, uh, have you met her before? Or do you have any business with her? Do you have anything to do with her? I don't discuss my private life with strangers. You want to talk business? You come by the office tomorrow. And when you come, please. Business. Amaka, I think I've tolerated you enough. I've warned you, and I'm not going to warn you again. And what gives you the right to come to my house to, to, to warn me? Please just get out of my house. <laughs> of course I'll leave. But have it in your mind that I'll come back. So you're pointing fingers at me. And mind you, when you come again, I don't think you're going to leave the way you came. It seems you have forgotten the girl standing right before you. It's Timio, Oma. <laughs> My dear, don't you ever talk to me anyhow. Because if I should come back, your life will not remain the same. Hey, Oma. Is there any part of you that is not here? I know what you are capable of doing. But my dear, you do not know what I, Amaka, is capable of doing. I see. You know what? Go and talk to my boyfriend the same way you did. And I will show you the devil in me. Stupid girl. Look at this one. So if you come to my boyfriend, you will come out. Come here again and see what I will do to you. Rubbish. My daughter, I advise you don't let this wear you down. In marriage, they dislike you choose who to marry. And your decisions should be based on good reasons. Mom, it's not going to be that easy. Jude has been a good man to me. He's shown me amazing love and care. So yes, he surely stands a chance of having me. But. Recently, since Danny came back into the picture, things have just been so complicated in my heart. Hmm. It's not as if I don't understand. Honestly, I do. I do. I believe the past should be treated and set aside. Mr. Joe should not be affected in any way. What? My sister, I'm telling you the truth. She was here saying all sorts of rubbish. You should have given her the beating of her life. Amaka, you're not saying anything to me. What's really going on between you and Oma? <laughs> that stupid Oma. I am going to deal with her. I am going to show her the stuff I'm made of. The stuff you're made of? Has it gotten to that level? <laughs> please, you guys should just stop all this nonsense, please. No, 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 no. She's just getting started. By the time I'm done with her, she will not try rubbish with me. Why would she call me a warning, Amaka? Your own is just to jump into matters without understanding them. Understanding what? I bet she didn't tell you she went to Chidi's house, laying abuses on them. And so what? They should leave her sister for her. Thank you, my sister. <laughs> Amaka, you see that thing you're looking for? You will see it very soon. Please, calm down. What are you doing? 
here. Ah, I'm here. I'm here. Ah, what a surprise. Oh, it's so good to see you. You know what? Get in the car. Is there anything bothering you? Oh, no. Uh, I'm fine. I'll get the door. Pain if you're not comfortable with the whiskey. Oh no, this will do. You know you can tell me anything, right? Is there anything bothering you? Anything you might want to share? I'm trying, sweetheart. I just have a slight headache, that's all. You have a headache? And, and you say you're fine? Uh, uh, please, uh, we have to get you home so you can rest. Okay? We can always hang out any, any other time. Oh, come on. It hasn't gotten to that. This is serious. It's your health we're talking about, okay? We can hang out some other time. Come on. I insist. Let's take you home. I'm fine. Adela. Please. All right. If you insist, let's, let's go. Thank you. Waiter! Listen, honey, I just want you to know that everything will be fine. All right? Calm down. I'm here for you. I have seen the hotel manager already. I have upset every bill you owe them here. I've told them to get a cleaner and a laundryman to take care of your clothes and also keep this room in shape. I mean, this place looks like... I just want everything to be all right with you. Okay? Meanwhile, I have something for you. It's okay. We are not gonna allow him to ruin us. Just call me. Whenever you need me, okay? Definitely, he will not ruin us. I have to quickly run along now. I, I, I really don't want anybody to start looking for me in the house. Okay? okay? And please, put what I said into consideration. We need to think of something fast. Reason you have to stop these drugs and come up with something good. Please. Not to worry. Everything will be fine. <sighs> Alright. I'll call you when I get home. Yeah. Yeah, half a Benji. Half a three wraps and two packets. Your money is here. Come over. Huh? Come over. <laughs> Bama, bring drinks. Bring drinks. There's money. Bring drinks. 
Bridges! <laughs> no, there is nothing to count on about. Alright? He lied to me! I know. But at least he told you the truth. That man is a good man. It was good of him to have told you the truth. Because some men will use you and make you feel used at the end. That does not change the fact that he lied to me. He fucking lied to me. Girl, calm down. He didn't tell you he was never married, did he? <laughs> Come on. This man was having issues with his wife. He was divorced. And if you see that things are working out for him, at least consider and be happy for him for once. <sighs> be happy for him. You ask him. Did you even hear what I told you that he did? Someone who used me and, and come on, he didn't use you. You were the one that was telling me that this man avoided sleeping with you. He preferred hanging out with you than taking you to his house. Come on, calm down. You should be thinking of going back to Danny. Yeah. That, I, think, I, I think he noticed it. He felt it that maybe something like this will come up someday. Calm down. I think you should be thinking about going back to Danny. No, babe, don't. Please don't go there. Girl, you should. You should go back to Danny. See, think of going back to Danny. Hi, Danny. Danny, I've been calling. You don't take my calls. Adora, I need you to understand that as it is, I am very busy with a couple of things and do not have the time to give attention to some other things by the side. Please, just give me a little attention. I want to see you. Oh, and it will also interest you to know that I'm, I'm traveling out of this town. I'll be away for a couple of days. But if what you want to talk about um, is really important to you, I suggest we talk about it when I return. Is that okay? Uh huh. Thanks for understanding. Thank you. Bye. Hello? Hello? Danny? Yeah, Dad, I have to go now. All right. Uh, but I promise to call you as soon as I get to my destination. Thank you. I wish you a safe trip. Hmm? Thank God you, bless. And you'll be well. I will. I will. <laughs> I'll call you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's good. That's my baby. You did very well. We're getting that information. You did absolutely. You did wonderful. In fact, you're the best. So what plans do you have? I mean, what can you come up with this short period of time we have? Uh, you know what? Just hold on, okay? I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Just relax. Stay on track. Stay online, huh? Okay. All right, I'll call you tomorrow morning then. Good girl. Yeah. Okay, bye. That's what's up. <sighs> yeah, toast the money, toast the freedom, toast the wealth. Smart girl. Yeah, money! 
I'm rich. I'm rich. I'm rich. Of course, your mom should say that. That guy really have good intentions. Yes. I will say you listen to your mom and let go. That guy deserves your forgiveness. Oh, God. Why is nobody else seeing the betrayal and hurt in this? Do you know how it feels? This is a man who I dated for two whole years. He even proposed marriage to me. Look. And he has been trying to call you so he can explain things to you. So what? Is that necessary? Exactly. Not necessary at all. That's why you should go back to Danny. Yes. Go back to Danny. He deserves you. Just go back to him. <sighs> Look. Simo's I don't stand a chance with Danny anymore. I know this. The man does not even pick up my calls <laughs> anymore. There's no need. If he ever picks up, he tells me, oh, he's not in town or he's busy. Look, just forget about it. There's no need. You can't stop because he's not picking up your calls. Go to his house. Yes. If you don't mind, I can take you to him. I'm sure his father will be very happy to meet you. It's been long I went to that place. So please, let's go together. I called you here because there is something very important I need to do. Come, calm down, calm down, okay? At least hear what I have to say first. I want to apologize for everything I have done to you. Yes, I know I have been rude, I have been arrogant, I haven't been the nicest person at all. We are humans. I shouldn't treat you the way I do. I have come to realize it. That is why I am asking for your forgiveness. Again, I want us to live in peace. I want us to be happy. Please just find a place in your heart to forgive me, please. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. You mean... <laughs> hey, madam, I'm... Are you the one... Talking to me or something is talking from somewhere. Okay, now of course it is me talking to you. 
Are you serious? Well, 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 I don't well if it is from your mind, if it is from the innermost part of your innermost that this apology is coming from. Uh, who am I? Uh, who am I not to? Of course, it is from the innermost part of my heart. As in, in fact, from my stomach. Uh -uh. I'm very sick. Are you serious? Yes. Okay. To tell you how serious I am. Yeah. I made this for you. Okay, I woke up this morning, very early this morning, to prepare this for you. Hmm? Please accept it. <laughs> wow. Uh, Madam, sorry. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you this question. Do you want to kill me? Hapa! No, just if you know, at times if you want to kill uh -uh, somebody, just, okay. tell, just okay. tell me I have poisoned this food and I want to kill you. I would understand. Okay, okay. that is not a nice thing. Why would I want to kill you? Does it look like I can hurt somebody? I'm just trying to apologize for the way I've been acting towards you. Are you serious? That's no poison. Well, God bless you. I didn't even know what, what I said. It's for your refreshment. Are you serious? <laughs> <Stupid old. laughs> You prepared this yourself for me. I prepared oh, it for God you. God bless you, madam. <laughs> God bless you. Hey, hey Jesus. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, we'll make it. We're ready to go. God bless you, ma. Okay. Hey, are you serious? I'm very I serious. Just go and be fresh with this. See, just God bless you. If you want more, you come, eh? <laughs> God bless you, ma. God bless you. Oh, goodness. Thank you. You're so funny. <laughs> Mission accomplished. First, we make a civic kind of job, Johnny Johnny. Let me see if guests don't take it, but let me see. No, I don't go to that one. Come on, win. You go see, don't they happy?
Hello. Good day, dear husband. How are you doing? Hmm? Mary. Mm. Well, I have come to dialogue with you. To dialogue with me? Mm hmm. What do you want? Oh, smart man. He asked what I want. <laughs> it's so good that you know that I want something. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just going to make it smart so you don't have to waste any more time. You see, what I'm about to do is not really so nice, but I can't really blame myself. I mean, at this point, I have no choice. Or oh, you have come to say you want to leave? Voila! That's so smart of you. <laughs> of course I want to leave. Listen, I know you have been a good man. I mean, you've been an amazing husband this whole time. But there is no way I will leave without settlement. You have to settle me for the time I have spent here. You know, the time I have been with you, the time I have taken care of you. So you want to come to say you want to leave? Yes. I want to leave. I see. Is that what you came to tell me? This is your mind, standing by. Oh my goodness! I forgot to introduce the amazing Jeff to you. A round of applause for Mr. Jeff. Oh, that's the way. So done. This is Jeff. My boy, he's not just here in vain. He's here because he has some job to do. So darling, back to business. You are going to transfer some money to an account I'm going to give to you. That's yeah. it over there. You have to transfer one million dollars into the account. Call your account manager now and do the need for. Very true. Mary. Mm. Tell your friend to leave my house. That is not a nice thing to say. He's not a nice man. Don't be like that. Darling, I'm sure you don't want this to get dirty. Oh no, no, no way. Do you think I'm here to joke? Do you think I'm joking with you? You better do as I say, else I'll kill you. Set you and this house on fire. Do it now. Do it! Are you still are you showing me what you're doing? Honey, just go ahead and do it! Don't go ahead and do it! Take your phone. Let me have a phone. Do it. I don't want them to hit you like that. Go ahead, honey. Just call your account officer. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Baby babes. Calm down. It's okay. He has to be in a good mood to make the call, so what is expecting? Make the call. So go ahead, darling. Make the call, okay? Mm. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yeah, Mr. Don. This is Mr. Mr. Dan. Yes. Please, I I am going to send you an email right away. Make sure you execute it immediately. Please. Okay. Mm. Yes, yes, please. Yeah. 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 Send the message yourself. Thank you. Um. This is Mr. Dan's email address, right? Yes. Confirmed. Yes. Okay. Okay. Send. Done. <laughs> That's done. That's right. Uh, <laughs> please note that the, the transaction will take about an hour before it is completed. Mm. Okay. We'll wait. In that okay. case, you tie him up. Why do we need to tie him? Do as I say. Tie him up! Okay. Yeah, tie him up. Are you really sure? Shut up and do as I say. Tie him up. 
Mary. Shut up. Okay, Shh. just let him. I, I'll tie him up. Why I don't tie him up? Oh my God. We're here, right? Yeah. Same as well, you know. You and I could have been friends even earlier than this. I never knew you with such a good friend. <laughs> it's nothing going to even go there. I understand. Your case is understandable, so I don't know. worry. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> What is going on? Something abnormal is going on here. Do you feel what I feel? Do we really have to go inside? Of course. This is actually my home too. I need to go inside and find out what is going on. Just wait for me here. I'll, 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 I'll be right back. Okay. You think something's happening? Just calm down. I'll be right back. Just stay here, okay? Okay. Okay, good. Um, we'll wait until we confirm the money, okay? But meanwhile, baby, you go inside. Prepare your things so that when we get the money, we can leave. And just pack your things, okay? Everything will be fine. Alright. Alright. You did a good job. Short story. Since it's not here, I guess you have to pay for his sins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a pity you can move. Okay. <laughs> I told you, son. I told the stupid son.
done. Then, please, I am sorry, please, please, please listen to me, you can't do this to me, please, please, Dad, please, I am begging you, please, please, you gave me life, you gave me life, I'm so sorry, please, 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 Dad, Dad, please, please, please. Something always whispered to me. That I was making a great mistake. Sticking with you. But I thought I was in love. <laughs> I was a fool to think that you are true. <laughs> two fucking times, two times, that you ruined my life. This, this man here gave me a second chance to have a good life. But no, I was so stupid to fall in love with you again. Jeff, why did you kill him? I'm sorry. Don't say a word. Don't tell me you are sorry, you are a beast. You are a monster! How could you kill an old, helpless man? He couldn't have even hurt you. Why did you kill him? I'm sorry. Don't! Don't me. Don't come close to me. You are such a mistake. And... Hello. What? 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 <laughs> Did you see something there? What is it? Somebody is in there. The cute <laughs> Calm down, calm down, calm down. Is the person still in there? Oh my god, he's still in there. I will let them escape. No, no, listen, we have, Shh, we have to call for help. Okay, let's leave this place. We can't be seen no, on the crime scene. No, I would rather be here and be a witness to this crime. I don't want to see you Mr. Donald, this is Mrs. Okafo, Don Okafo's wife. Please, my husband called you a few minutes ago to make a transaction. I want you to terminate it immediately. My husband has been murdered. He made that call on that jurors. Please. What would you? Please. Why did you have to do that? Please just. Ah! Why did you have to do that? Listen to me, listen to me. 
Calm down, Adora. Consider your pregnancy. You're pregnant. I don't care. Can't use this. We have to go get external help right now. Adora, no. You can call whoever you want to call. For me, Simula will do something. I will. Hello? Yeah, Adora. Um, listen, Adora, um, I don't have the time for this right now. I'm driving as a matter of fact. I can call you back. No, 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 wait, 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 Danny, wait. Wait, okay, this is really important, okay? Listen! I'm at your house right now, okay? I'm with Zimuzo. I think your dad's life is in danger. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Hold on, hold on, calm down. What did you say? You have to get help now, come now! Where will you come? You know what? Um, just listen, calm down, alright? Just calm down. Um, I'm going to get the police involved, alright? I need you to stay calm. Stay calm, get yourself together, alright? And remain where you are, I'm going to call you back. Okay? Okay, okay, I'll try. Please let them hurry. Tell them to hurry. Oh my god. girl has accomplished her mission. Hi! Hmm. Darkness. Darkness. Darkness has fallen on Umweto. Well, um... Daniel, you have to be hide. I want your father, but he would listen. Look at it now. Anyway, it is good for the son to bury his father. You're welcome. Yes. My son, 
ndi igbo na asi na kufecha odarawo whatever the gods ordained to be must be my son i bring you good news you see the royalty that belongs to us is finally here what has happened <laughs> i was in a council meeting yesterday where all the representatives of each clan were present and we deliberated on kingship issue and right there it was agreed in unison that the kingship issue should remain with umweme to clan despite the death of your father who was the kind of dead and it was concluded that you Danny should occupy the space and become the king you are not joking did i hear you say joke how can i be joking with the prestigious throne of fumudri Come on now, it's not a joke. Ah, uh, this is good news. Very good news. It is true. You're going to become the king <laughs> and bring back that royalty <sighs> that belongs to us. The Umwe Meto clan. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess your dream. Okay. So that we shall talk more. Mm. <laughs> it's yeah. about to become a new dog. Yeah. Uh, in this community. That's right. Oh, I'm very happy. <sighs> you something. <laughs> oh. Yeah. What do you have to say? I shouldn't have thrown it away. Right. Can I have it back? Please? You'd love to have it back. <laughs> Love for you and I'm sure, why not? And I'm ready to prove it to you, baby. I love for you, baby. Life. Baby, give me the chance to show you what I've got. I'm ready to fight for this love. I wasn't thinking, you know that. It looks beautiful on you. I always loved it. Thank you. It's just perfect. Maybe remember the time we used to be together. We can do without each other, but it seems to forget in so soon. How we used to be together, live in peace and
something dangerous. There she goes. 